When you're done working with a record set in your VBA code, you should close it to release the system resources used to keep it in working memory. In this movie, I'll show you the code to do that. One thing that I'd like to point out is that a record set usually refers to a table, but it doesn't have to. It can also refer to a query. In this movie, we're going to use the close method from the record set object, but you shouldn't confuse this close, which happens in working memory, to closing a table inside of the database window. So for example, we're going to be working with the products table. And if I double click products, then the products table opens and the user can work with it. The method we're going to use does not close this table. In other words, if I were to click the close button now and remove the table from the database window, that would be a different action from what we're going to do inside of VBA. With that in mind, I will double click the close table code module over in the navigation pane and that displays the visual basic editor and opens the close table code module. I've already created the skeleton for this module. We have the sub and end sub statements. I have defined the my r variable as a record set and then after the code that we want to run runs we set my r to nothing. Now we can start typing in the code that we're going to use. The first thing we need to do is to set the my r variable to the products table. So we'll set the my r variable by typing set space my r space equal sign space now current db c u r r e n t db all one word no spaces and that refers to the current database the one that we're working in right now period and then open record set is the object we'll work with so that's o p e n record set it's highlighted in the autocomplete list so i'll press tab to accept it now we need to identify the table that we want to use and that will be the products table so i'll type a left parentheses double quote because the name of the table is the text string and then products p r o d u c t s double quote right parentheses and then return and type in some code so that we see something happening between the time that we open the record set and then close it and for this i'll just do a message box with the name of the record set msg box short for message box a space and then my r which is the object variable referring to the products table, a period, and then name. So type an N and then press the tab key to use the name property. Press enter. And then finally, we'll do my R, M Y R, period, and then close, C L O S E. And one thing to note when you type in C L O, the first value that appears in the autocomplete list is clone. That's not what we want to use. We want C-L-O-S-E, so I usually just type it all the way out. Now press tab, and we have the code that we want. So when we press F5 to run the code, Access displays the name of the record set inside of a message box, and when we click OK, Access closes the message box and then closes the record set and sets it to nothing. Modern computers have lots of built-in memory, but closing an unneeded table frees up some memory and reduces screen clutter. That's especially true in Access, where database tables can be extremely large and take up a lot of memory. So, it's a good habit to get into closing a record set you're no longer using.